Anyway, I guess what we'll do first is look around this room. If my nunchuck wanted to participate with me. Huh? Uh, let's see. Okay, I connected the nunchuck. There we go. Now we're cooking with fire. Nothing of interest that I can really look at in the dark. Wish there was a flashlight or something. To the map! What rooms can I go into? Unexplored area. View of stairs. Yeah, I'll check that. And when I open this, then the girl, uh, Kudo Neko, should appear, right? Really? Yeah, I guess now that I expect it every time, they're not going to do it anymore. Door, please. Come on. There we go. I'll go down back this way. No, I can't enter the door next to me. Alright, just a little further up. Hmm. 
Alright, this one. It has after use, please return key to janitor's office written on it. So, right, I forgot the, about this room, that I actually have to do something, get a key or something. Seems locked because it won't open. Genius, Rin! Thank God you told me that, otherwise I would never have figured it out. Alright, so then I guess I just go down to these two unexplored areas. Maybe that one over there. Why is there a giant gap between the hallways there? Was there a giant wall there, or did someone collapse that area for no particular reason? You know what, now I gotta check down there. Maybe I should get a little more centered. There we go. Ah, that's why there's a giant gap. There's a mass of desks and chairs here. I can't see well in the darkness. Rin, I can see that well in the darkness. It's a bunch of chairs and desks. That's all you have to say. Looks like someone piled a bunch of chairs and desks in the hallway. Odd. Hmm. Nope, still got a way to go. I apologize for my compulsive map checking. It's just kind of a habit now that I've developed in this game. Mm. Oh hey, cutscene. Hello, Rin. The hell was that? Shin? Oh my god, he survived! How'd he get here? Intersecting storylines, I like it! Alright! Oh, damn it! I was going to look up the Ghostbusters theme before this and that was creepy as all get out. Uh, any moment you wanna move? Rin? Is it my nunchuck or is... Yeah, it's my nunchuck. I'm gonna cut this here and swap my nunchucks out because this is getting ridiculous. See you in a few seconds. Alright guys, I'm back. Now this should be working properly. Yep. Okay. If I'm lucky maybe Shin will have an extra flashlight for me. If that was Shin, I could be wrong. Okay, it is this one. He entered the girl's bathroom. Shin, you pervert. Nothing. Nothing. Only two more to check. Nada. Bupkis. Oh, last one. The hell? I heard him. And I saw him. Could he be in the next bathroom then? Yes, he's in the men's room. Okay, so he's not a pervert. Rin is. I'm gonna scare the living crap. want to knock on it and say hello. Yeah, I'm just scaring the crap out of him now. Poor Shin. Um, I wish I could, you know. Why is this happening to me? I don't know. Where are all these things? Well, we're in a school. Those are ghosts. Dude, right here. I'm right here. I can help you, bro. Night. You 
we're curious about a creepy website. Where am I? What are all these things? Look what's going on. Oh, if I remembered Shin's number, I could probably call it. What is this place? You know what, guys? I'm going to cut this really quick, and I'm going to check one of my videos to see if I can figure out Shin's number. I'll be right back. This is this might be promising. All right, guys, I'm back, and this is his number on the phone. I looked it up in the intro, and now let's try calling it. In use. Aw, man. Wait, can I look at other stuff in here, maybe? Am I recording? That's the note I got from Kudo Neko. That's my camera. I didn't mean to look up there. Okay. Uh, no, not what I wanted to do. Uh, what was it again? Nine, nine, seven, eight, nine, four, five, one, six. I think that was what was on there. Anyway, calling. It's still busy. Well, then I don't know how to talk to Shin, and I'd really like to, because that would just be... Don't tell me this is not working now, my other nunchuck. Why, game? Why? Or, actually, no, this would be my controller's fault, wouldn't it? Why, controller? Why? Can I use the bathroom? I'm gonna give him one more scare. I should shut him up for a few seconds while I try and figure out how to get to him. Well, I'm officially stumped. I guess we just move on then. If my nunchuck didn't stop being a dick and not letting me move. Great. Now, so both of them don't work. Fantastic. I'm trying to, dude, but you're not opening the door, and I can't talk to you because apparently Rin like feels like being a mute. All right, what else can I do in this area then? Since I can't talk to Shin, it seems, unfortunately. Oh God! Yes, flashlight. Oh, good. A uh, crouch. Finally, got a flashlight. Now I can look at things. Maybe I, now that he sees the flashlight, he'll be like, Oh, someone else! Yay! Of course, I could just be wrong. What are all these things? Look what's going on. Dude. 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 I'm trying. Dude, can you not see the flashlight? Flashlight here. Means it's a person with a flashlight. Ghosts can't hold flashlights. Try to help. There we go. Anywho, since that was a bust, uh, more stairs down. I want to go further down, I guess. I want to explore this area, though, before I uh, go any further down. I mean, there might be goodies or something up here. Who is it? I found a new friend. It's time to play. Well, that's creepy. In use? My phone is suddenly in use, or is it that this is a cutscene? <laughs> cutscene! Shin? Uh oh. Squalled, fat ghost, skinny girl, and incredibly tall girl. Portion. I mean, Rin only had to deal with one at a time. He has to go with all three at once, stuck in the bathroom. Poor guy. And I guess the ghost called me thinking I was the tubby one. And what is with that face? Should I, should I go help him? 
I mean, it might be a bust and I might get attacked by the ball, but you know what? I'm feeling brave. Don't worry, shit, I'm coming. I mean, I don't know what I can do, because, you know, they're ghosts. Oh, wait. Hold up. Sorry, Shin. The game doesn't want me to help you, I guess. You're on your own, buddy. Sorry. Anyway, I'm assuming one of the fat girl's friends called me, assuming it was her, considering, I guess, this is her phone. Hmm. Is this just a dead end? Nothing of interest? Not necessarily, I mean... Oh, I went the wrong way. I was trying to go into the dead end over there. Well, whatever. Coast is clear, it looks like. Nothing over there of interest. So this must be the room that I want to get into. Or can get into. Or not. This is very odd. Oh, hey, something on the floor. Drifter's memo number three. When I woke up, I was in my room. It looks like some school, but I don't remember coming here. And I don't have any reason to. Seriously, what's going on? Huh. Well, I guess that's a collectible in this game. I don't know if I'll collect them all because I'm playing this blind and, you know... Kind of confusing. But wait a minute. Hold on a second. I open the map. Yeah, there should be an end. Or maybe it's this room with the door right here. That's possible. Anyway, first, let's open this. And hope no ghosts or dangly bits come falling out. Nothing? Good. Now, this has to be an openable door. Yup. Explored area. Ooh. Saw something I could look at or oh it's this. This right here. Nope, just the janitor's closet it looks like, unless there's something in here I can pick up. Why are there panties in a janitor's closet? Oh pervy janitor. Oh god! Oh, just something. What's not nice? Hello, ghosty girl. Skinny, ghosty girl. I mean you no harm. Colorful school bag. Colorful school bag. Purse. T-shirt. Nothing of real interest, I suppose. Maybe some books down there. More books, more books. Was this room just for that scare? For skinny girl. Please look at fat. Uh, fatty the ghost. No, it doesn't look like there's anything for me to pick up. This room is a pointless room. Careful. Uh, I guess I can check this janitor's closet over here for anything of use for janitor supply to pick up a body. Where's the map? And where's the stairs? Uh, further down, but I want to check the uh, dead end hallway, maybe there's something. Oh, that was me. Whoops. I always do that by accident. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I want to turn this way, I think. Yes. stools, I guess. No, nope, nothing of interest over here. Unlike the Drifters Memo 3, which I assume, uh, I assume, I assume was from Shin. My basis on that is because he says he's, you know, in a school, doesn't know how he got here and all that jazz. Though I suppose escaping should probably have been my first priority to begin with. Instead of, you know, saving someone or picking up papers. Oh, I guess it's time for second period, guys. That's 
an interesting painting over there. The safe room is in that, is, is it in that direction? No, it's in the opposite direction. So I can either check out the painting, the bathrooms, and whatever that room is, or I could go to the safe room and make sure I don't die. The safe room's looking awfully good right now. Which room is it? Oops. Went to sleep mode. I wonder how long this has been going on. Because I cut so many times, I'm not exactly sure. Oh, there you are, Saint Kitty. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to cut this here to check the time really quick and see if I can do any more. Yeah, I could get a little more done, so let's do that. Yes, I'm exiting the save screen. I just saved. I'll be fine. Um, oh, hey. Maybe something of interest? Normal gym bag. And that's it. Normal gym bag. Wow, so glad I got a, a flashlight to examine gym bags, school bags, and all sorts of other stuff. I'm sorry, colorful school bags and gym bags. And books that I can't interact with. Nope. Nope. Oh wait, hello. Oh, never mind, it was just me with the door. Yeah, nothing of interest. Bummer. There. Well, at least we got the safe kitty, that's something, I guess. Now to check the map. Uh, next room, I guess I'll check it is the one down there. Then I'll go down this hallway, check the two bathrooms in case there's anything in there, that room, and then keep going down the stairs. Okay, so for that one I want to check, I want to go down the hallway this way. And check this door? This door. Yes. The door is shut tight. Yeah, it's not letting me force it like Shin was able to force the last one in his level. Bummer. Nothing of value. Oh, fun dumb. I want to check that painting, even though it's an obvious scare. Mocha. Huh. I check the placard. This picture was donated by grad uh, graduating class. It looks like someone just hand printed a wall. It looks like Toshi the Troll and Grudge Girl made this. That's all I'm saying. It's just crap. I'm sorry, but it is. Sneaking into the men's room. Which is okay, because I'm a guy. Nothing of value. Upturned toilet. Functioning toilet. Nothing of value. Maybe I should stop exploring if I'm not going to get anything from it. Ladies' room. Nothing of value. Except the falling brooms and a possible scare. No, that was an actual scare. Really? Oh god, brooms, they fell! What are we gonna do, guys? Brooms fall down! When doors are opened! Panic time! Okay, I didn't open that one. 
Oh god! <laughs> Damn it, that isn't the game, guys. That's actually my stupid phone. The house phone. And I can't do anything about it. No idea who that is. Will you shut up? Thank you, phone, for shutting up. There's nothing around. Oh, God! Hi there, creepy ghost girl. Her eyes were horrifying. Ugh. That was like, she did kind of look like Grudge Girl, only the eyes. They were just... I'm not even gonna lie, that, that creeped me the hell out. Reminds me of the creepy pasta of Squidward's suicide. And that was, you know, the eyes that he had in that creepy picture. Alright, the next room is right there. I would very much thought I would very much like if that girl did not show up again, because her eyes scare the fuck out of me. Well, they don't scare the fuck out of me, they're just creepy. And I hate it when they randomly drop crap like that. Next room, pop-up? No pop-up. Uh... What was that? I'm glad this game is actually more frightening than The Grudge. With its jump stuff, because it jumps more. Someone's crying. Please don't be in this room. Okay, it's not in this room. Probably in another room. Dun, dun, dun. Don't know why I opened that so quickly. Colorful bags, purse. What the hell? Is that something I could use? Wait. Uh, I can't reach it, so no. Doesn't look like it. Ugh, stuff. Gym bag, which says, oh look, it's a normal gym bag. An eraser. Well, I sense a scare. Oh god, an eraser bell. You know, I said that in the bathroom when I said the broom spell, and then something ho truly horrifying showed up. So maybe I shouldn't be taunting the game. Yeah, from now on, I'm going to try not to taunt the game. Emphasis on try, because you know me. Please tell me, yes, I got to open this in time. Good. I hope Shin got away okay. I don't want to just have seen him die. I want to make sure, I want to be sure he's okay. But there's not really much you can do. There's nothing down that hallway, so I'm not going to risk it, and... Oh, goody! These are blocked. I guess all I can do is go down the abandoned hallway, then go down that abandoned hallway, then check that again, and maybe see if these have a downstairs. Those aren't explored, really? Stairs? Thought I came in on those. Huh, well, whatever. I guess I'll, uh... Nothing of value. Please tell me that was my footsteps, and not any of the ghost's footsteps. Please. Actually, I'm not. I'm. I'm kind of just taking your chain now. I'm not that scared. I will admit this game is frightening, and those eyes were terrifying. But I'm not actually scared. Well, I am to a degree, I suppose, but not like Brad scared, where I'm going to be sniffling in the corner crying. I'm a man. I'm a man. Uh, I have to pull up to the room that 
it's still unexplored because it was shut tight apparently. I wonder why that girl was crying. I assume it was one of the ghosts. And I assume she's crying because she's dead. Because that would logically be why someone would cry. No, if I was a ghost, I'd probably be crying. Like, damn it, I'm dead. Oh, that was me again. I need to stop doing that. Anyway, if, as I was saying, if I was a ghost, I'd probably be a bit upset about it. Yep, I guess we uh, keep going downstairs. So what was the point of me exploring up there except for a few scares? And I'm assuming either cutscenes happening or we're just going to the next floor. We're just at the next floor. Floor number one. And there's no basement, thank God. Okay, so now I just need to find the exit to this building. Which, if I had to guess... Oh goody, and there's a cat nearby! Anyway, if I had to guess, I'd assume it's either this area or that area. Uh, I assume that would go down to the basement. So, do I want to go there first, or do I want to check this hallway first? Well, to get to the cat, I have to go to the left cat, so I'll do that first. I'll save it, Mr. Kitty. Left cat, I think. Right? Yeah, left cat. Oh, God! Toshi the Troll is back! Or that could just be Kuro Neko, and she also has Cat Pap. Wait a minute. I said that Grudge Girl got a haircut, and that's who uh, Kuro Neko is, but what if... Bear with me now, because this is kind of creepy thought. What if Grudge Girl and Toshi did it, and they had a daughter, and that's Kuro Neko? Oh, God. Wait, really? <laughs> What the frig am I looking at? Am I in the void? What is this? Did I just open Superman's closet? Where he has all those creepy people in this pocket dimension thing? I don't even know what I'm talking about. What? Where am I? Well, I thought that'd be obvious you're in a school in the middle of the abyss. Or what I assume is the abyss. Well, so much for, you know, leaving. Guess we just have to wait for someone to drag us from the other side to the next room, like in Twilight Princess, where Midna had to be on the other side of the Twilight Realm to grab Link. So yeah, how about that, guys? Apparently, uh, we had Toshi and Grudge Girl mating to make, uh, Kuroneko. But with that, I think we're going to end this episode here with that incredibly disturbing thought. So the next episode, we're going to keep moving. Rin certainly has a longer segment than Shin did. But again, he was tutorial, I suppose. Anyway, see you guys in the next episode. Bye!